Have you ever wanted to taste a fizzy strawberry, a carbonated grape, or even a tongue-tangling yogurt? Well, hopefully today, I'm gonna show you how. Hopefully. Hey everyone, hope you're well. Uh, welcome to My Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry. Uh, this is the second video in the Kitchen uh, Science Testing playlist. If you missed the snake thing that I made, uh, check that out after this video. Uh, some comments on that. Not only was it about health and safety, don't worry, I've upgraded. Uh, there's no naked flames today and I've got some decent gloves. Um, also, you guys suggested something called fizzy fruit and we are trying that today for two reasons. One, because it looks awesome. There's a video that you guys pointed me to from people called Chef Steps, amazing channel. Check it out, go uh, have a little ganders. And more importantly, it was just Halloween. I ordered some dry ice. I wanted to do a cauldron thing. It didn't arrive in time. It's arrived now, so we're gonna do some fizzy stuff. Fizzy fun. Looks cool, doesn't it? See? Intentionally bad ice pun. All right, I'm gonna show you something. When dry ice melts, it does something different to normal ice. And I'm not the smartest tool in the box. I didn't do very well at science at school, which so makes me the perfect host for this, right? Uh, when normal ice melts, it turns to water. As you know, when dry ice melts, hence the cauldron thing I wanted to do, it turns to CO2, carbon dioxide. So it's like what's in fizzy drinks, basically. So this spoon is actually, that's cold, right? It's, it's quite cold in here, but this is warm compared to dry ice, which is actually minus 70 degrees. Hence my gloves. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming off of that. They're actually dancing a little bit on the spoon. It's like the river dance spoon edition. So by putting this into some water, you get a pretty cool effect. And that was basically what I was trying to do with the cauldron. I've kind of made a poor man's cauldron, right? So what's happening is rather than it melting, this is, ooh, I feel like a witch. <laughs> uh, it's carbon dioxide. One thing I don't know, if I... No, I was gonna see if I burp a lot, but it looks pretty cool. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is that cool, Rob? That's cool, man. Like, Rob's like watching going, I'm glad he's got the gloves on. Like, <laughs> look at that! It's like instantly frozen the spoon. Yeah. That is proper Doc Brown with the, the DeLorean right there. Like, holy schmoly. All right, the gas has got to stay in there because that's what's going to give it the fizz. I'm not going to tell you about everything I've got on the board, but basically um, to make this work, you need high water content food. So on this board here, as you'll see, there's some that aren't going to catch you by surprise, but also a few quirky ones uh, like apple sauce. I think that's going to be amazing. Uh, we've got some ice lollies, not going to be rocket science if it works, and also yogurt, which surprises me. Um, it has a high water content. It's obviously got high milk content, so obviously there's water in milk. Let's do it. Here's a cool box that I got off Amazon for a very, very cheap amount of money. Now, I don't think this lid is gonna do much, but it doesn't matter. We'll come onto that in just a jiffy. Let's get it off. Obviously, this is designed for like a cool box, keeping your food cool. The dry ice is gonna be a lot cooler than what normally goes in here. I don't know how much to add. I'm just gonna make my own cauldron. I basically cover the bottom. Scary thing is now I can't actually see the bottom. <laughs> Ooh. A little bit more for good luck. So we don't want the fruit. Wow, that mist is cold, baby. We don't want the fruit touching the ice directly, otherwise it will probably cling to it and do nasty things. So we put down uh, a tea towel. I'm gonna take my gloves off because I'm feeling kind of protected now and the fruit is gonna go in. I'm gonna nestle the sauce in there and the yogurt. I'm gonna try and find somewhere where it can you know, kind of like on the sand, you put your deck chair in there. This is kind of weird. Pineapple slices, it's cold in there. Celery. I think I'm just gonna get creative and just, just chuck the rest in. And the ice lollies. <laughs> this is so weird. Right, let's get that sealed up. Lid goes on, apparently, and even with the expensive uh, Amazon-inspired locking device, is definitely not sealed enough because those gases can seep out. Okay, so we want to really seal them in. You guys know how terrible I am with cling film. I'm going to wrap this not just around there lots of times, all over. So I make sure I do it carefully so I don't spill my yogurt. The poppy's falling out. If you've ever wondered what it's like to receive a birthday or Christmas present from me, this is pretty much it. 
<laughs> Nearly wrapping Rob's fingers to it. <laughs> this is going to look awkward on camera, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, it's got... cold, the bottom of it is cold. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, now you go. This is like a really bad version of the scene from Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's got really... Yeah, that's pretty good, man. Ain't much gonna escape from that. Here we have it. And as I showed you earlier with the water and the dry ice going in there, the gas, that's basically happening right in here. And the only way it can really go, apparently, is into our fruit. So we're just gonna leave this uh, overnight and see what happens. And I'm gonna take this wig off for the tasty bit. See you tomorrow. Ouch. <laughs> oh, morning guys. Um, I'm excited, I'm not gonna lie, I ain't bothering about the wig, it's not about that today. Um, I am so excited to open this. I'm not wearing my gloves because I'm actually bookmarked uh, a recipe that's coming up next week, a new playlist, hopefully you'll be excited for that. As we left last night, the gas or some air, maybe it was just a big air bubble, was bulging out of this. And Rob and I kind of had this feeling, we were like, is this gonna explode? Uh, is that actually the CO2 escaping? We're not like burping, so hopefully it's still in there. I'm genuinely really excited, so let's open this up. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. And of course, if you like the science experiment stuff, let me know down below any cool ones that you know. Uh, we could have actually done our own homemade dry ice. Uh, I kind of avoided that. I didn't know if you guys wanted to see it, but it being in England, it's really hard to get it. So maybe I could show you how to get it. And this is quite expensive. So any ideas, let me know. It's not cold, it's like, it's warm. You gotta see this, Rob. I don't know, I can't work it out if it's worked or not. Um, well, the ice is gone. I think it's worked, you know. The, the yogurt's like... They look, look weird. They, they look, look, they look they weird. Look different. <coughs> oh my gosh, there's still a bit of gas in there, but all of the ice has gone and it is, it's touchable. So uh, Rob, come uh, have a little look. We'll, uh, we'll peruse before we get it out. That looks frozen. That, yeah. That, that is really cold. Odd. The, the yogurt is like curdled. <laughs> I don't know if the yogurt has taken all of the, um, cause that's like, that's rock hard. That rock hard, it looks yeah. rock hard. It doesn't look frozen though, does it as much? So um, I guess, oh look what's happened to the lolly. It's kind of disintegrated. disintegrated. It's died. <laughs> and this other one's shrunk. I don't know. I hope this has worked. Oh my god. That's like eating a soda stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's got it. That's really got it. These are gonna you taste know, great. Mmm. Yeah. It's really it tastes a bit like gardens. It's made them sweeter. But it's like, yeah, sweet gardens. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a garden. Sweet gardens. This is literally all I have left of the ice lolly. Oh wow. That's blooming amazing. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That's that's in there. That's in there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So that's strong. A... That tastes like fizzy mud. It's the weirdest dessert ever. An extremely limp piece of <laughs> celery that somebody's already had a bite of. I really like the celery anyway. Yeah, you put a bit of ice lolly with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like summer. I hate cucumber. Oh, that's cold. That's actually solid. Oh. That's disgusting. I can't eat it. Some fizzy apple sauce. <laughs> oh, hoo -hoo! Oh! That's actually really good. That's really good. It's like, like, and again, it's like a, it makes it into some sort of pudding or something. Ooh, that's nice. That's turned into like apple sherbet. I'm gonna have a big spoonful. Mmm. Mm. That'd be really nice with ice cream. Yeah. It's just cold stuff. It's very cold. Wow. <laughs> I think I need to go to the dentist and get my teeth checked because that is. 
<laughs> Strawberry. Oh, that's nice. That's a, that is. A, I think that's the fizziest one for me so far. It doesn't. Again, it doesn't taste like strawberry anymore. It's like totally something else. But yeah, that's really interesting. You can feel it's going to be fizzy. Feels funny, doesn't it? They're um. Feels all squidgy. So cold. It's like eating a cactus. Wow, that strawberry is like eating a stinging now. It doesn't even taste nice though. It's taken all of this strawberryness out of it and just shoved it full of carbon dioxide. Would you like a blueberry? Thank you. They, they look completely normal. Wow. Cool, yeah. It's so fizzy. Mm. You I get like the that. hit afterwards. It's weird. It's weird, but it works. It looks like it's got frostbite. <laughs> Smells like cheese, but let's try the yogurt. Oh, good gosh. Oh, <laughs> it's like eating like fizzy baby food. Yeah. Anything left? Would you like to try the yogurt or not? I don't know if you want to try a bit of this sweet <laughs> ice lolly. <laughs> mm, I, I love ice lolly. Thanks for watching then guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out that uh, sugar snake video if you haven't seen it already. If you do try this, in all seriousness, please, please be careful. It is very dangerous stuff, but it's very fun. So uh, I'll see you next time.